Hi Judgers! Welcome to another segment of One Arliwag Memorial High School, Senior High School Math TV. For today's video tutorial, actually for tonight's video tutorial because it is almost 12 midnight of November, magno November 4 na today, because this video is just a request from some of my students. Actually, they are not my students. They are students from another strand and they requested me to do a video tutorial tutorial regarding general mathematics for their module 5 and this is for their video tutorial but before i start my video lesson for tonight so kung mapapansin niyo naman nasa bahay ako kaya pasensya na so i just make use of what i have here sa bahay so medyo marami ako na mga maliliit na whiteboard so dun ko lang sinulat so, unlike sa school na mapapansin nyo na marami akong pwedeng sulat at medyo malaki yung board natin. Okay, so before I start this video lesson, I would like to greet and say hello to ABM 11 Taylor, especially to Emerson Kabungkal with their advisor, Sir Jehan Edward Hernandez. So, please do subscribe and watch this video lesson regarding general mathematics for grade 11 of all strands of senior high school. Okay, so this lesson tackles about rational equation, rational expression, rational inequality, and rational function. So ano ba yung pagkakaiba-iba ng apat? So papaliwanag ko sa inyo kung ano, ano, kung ano yung mga pinagkaiba-iba nila. What are their differences? So ano yung kamukha ng isa na meron din yung isa? So let's start with the very basic one, which is what we call as the rational expression. So pag sinabi natin rational expression, it is just an expression. It is not a complete equation. So the definition of rational expression is that it is an expression that can be written as a ratio of two polynomials. When we say ratio, you'll be having a numerator or a denominator. Therefore, an example of it is 2 over x. Pwede din na x squared plus x plus 1 over x minus 1. Or pwede rin na sabihin natin that we have 5 over x minus 5 quantity squared. So this, these are just expressions and it is not a complete equation. So, ganyan lang siya. Wala siyang kasamang y is equal to ganun, f of x is equal to ganun. So, hindi hindi siya kompleto. So, kapag binigan ka ng mga ganitong example, therefore, you could say that these are just rational expression. Okay? Remember that. I hope that this is clear. When we say rational equation, so, pag sinabi natin rational equation, makikita natin or madidecipher natin yung word na equal from the word equation. Therefore, if it is an equation, there is an equal sign. So, the definition of this one Rational equation, an equation involving rational expressions. So, it is an equation. When we say equation, there is an equal sign. For example, 2 over x involving rational expression, therefore an equation, is equal to x squared plus x plus 1 over x minus 1. And this becomes a rational equation because of the equal sign. So let's have another. Well, what if I am given 1 over x is equal to x plus 1 over x minus 1? Rational equation because of the equal sign. What if we do not anymore use equal sign? So what if we have less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to? Therefore, we are pertaining to rational inequality and the left side and the right side of the equation will not anymore be equal because of the word inequality. We'll be using less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. So rational inequality, it is an equality involving rational expressions. For example, I'll be having 2 over x is less than or equal to x plus 1 over x minus 1. So this is an equation of rational inequality. And for the last one, that is the rational function. When we say function, it now deals with f of x. It deals with y. 
So, kapag nakakita ka ng f of x, that is just equal to y. Okay? So, again, kapag nakakita ka ng function of x, it is just equal to y. Or p of x, or g of x. So, we could say that that is just equal to y. So, a function of the form f of x is equal to p of x over q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomial functions, and q of x is not the zero functions. Why? Sinabi sa atin, that q of x should not be a zero function. Kasi kapag nag-zero yung fraction natin, nag-zero yung denominator niya, therefore it becomes undefined. Again, for example, I have 9x over 0. So therefore, there is no real solution for 9x over 0. Therefore, it becomes undefined. Again, if the denominator of a fraction becomes zero, it becomes undefined and there is no real solution for that one. So, what if, nagtanong ka, eh, sir, paano kunwari may binigay po sa akin given? At yung binigay po sa akin given, may square root, okay, or may root sign. It is not a rational expression, a rational equation, rational inequality, or rational function. None of this will belong to the given with square root sign or radical sign. Is that clear? Okay, so I think we're now ready to apply what you have learned from this four. Again, we have rational expression. It is just an exp expression. We have the rational equation. There is an equal sign. Rational inequality will be using greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. And for the rational functions, we'll be using f of x or y. Okay? So, I think we should now answer these problems. So, for these problems... For this problem, so we're asked to determine whether the given is a rational function, a rational equation, a rational inequality, or none of this. Okay, so let's try the first one. We are given x plus 5 over x minus 1 is equal to y. Anong sabi natin kanina kapag may y? Di ba pag sinabi nating y, this is also equal to f of x, therefore this is a function, kapag nakakita tayo ng y, that is just equal to f of x, we could say that it is a function. And we could say that this is a rational function. For the second one, we are given square root of 2 over x plus 1 is less than or equal to 3. But, I have told you earlier that when we are given square root, it is not considered a rational Expression, rational equation, rational inequality, or irrational function because it involves roots or radicals. Therefore, we could say that it is none of this. Okay? For the third one, we are given f of x. Again, what if we are given f of x? Therefore, there is a function. f of x is equal to 6 minus x plus 3 over x squared minus 5. Again, this is a function. We could finally say that this is a rational function. For number 4, we are given 2 plus x all over x minus 1 is equal to 8. Is there any other variable? Is there a y? Var is there a variable y for this problem? Wala, di ba? So, if wala, ang makikita lang natin dyan is just the variable x and the equal sign. Therefore, this is a rational. Kapag may equal sign, we call that rational equation. Okay? I hope that this is very clear to everyone who is watching. So, for the next one, x is greater than square root of x plus 2. Again, there is a root or radical here. Therefore, we could say that this is None of this. And for the last one, we are now given 2x is greater than or equal to 7 over x plus 4. May nakikita pa ba tayong ibang variable dyan? Ang nakikita lang natin is x. May nakita ba tayong radical? Wala. Therefore, we could just use this sign, which is the greater than or equal to sign, and that is an inequality. And this becomes rational inequality. Okay, so this is how we solve for different given 
to, and we determined if they are the rational function, a rational equation, a rational inequality, or none of the given. So I think we're ready to answer different activity for tonight. Okay, so let's have another activity. Again, we need to determine whether it is a rational function, a rational equation, rational inequality, or none of this. Gusto ko mabilis mag-isip kapag ganito. So, bilisan natin yung pagsasolve. So, we are given number 1. That is 1 plus x all over x minus 2 is equal to 4. Meron bang ibang variable na given? Wala. Di ba si x lang? Yes. So, ano, yung, ano lang yung ginamit nating symbol? Equal. Therefore, this is a rational equation. So, number 1 is rational equation. How about for the second one? We are given 5x is greater than or equal to 2 over 2x minus 1. So, what can we say about the given? So, for this one, tatanungin mo ulit. May iba bang variable? May y ba? May f of x ba? Wala. Therefore, it is not a rational function. So, dahil meron tayong binigay na greater than or equal to, we could finally say that this is a rational inequality. Bakit? Wala naman ng ibang nakalagay eh. Kahit na yung root sign, wala naman, or yung radical. Therefore, this is rational inequality. Okay? For the third one, so, kitang-kita mo agad, there is f of x. If there is f of x, check mo. Meron bang radical? Meron bang root sign? Okay, so kung walang radical or root sign, therefore, we could finally say that this is a function and we'll be calling this as rational function. Okay, for number 4, for number 4, we'll be having x plus 2 all over x minus 2 is equal to y plus 3. So there is an equal sign. Can we say that this is a rational equation? Let us again analyze. Sabi natin kapag ina-analyze, hahanap muna tayo ng iba pang variable. Bukod sa x, meron pa bang ibang letter? Or meron pa bang y? Therefore, there is. And if there is a y, it is also equal to f of x. Therefore, f of x is a function. And we could say that number 4 is a rational function. Okay, I hope that this is clear. For number 5. So, kitang-kita mo agad sa number 5, that is x plus 1 over 2 is less than square root of x plus 3. There is a radical sign. And when we say radical, therefore, this is none of this. For number 6, y is equal to 3x squared minus 3x minus 1. Therefore, if this is the given, that is just y. Therefore, y is a function. And the answer should be, rational function for number seven we are given three over x minus three is equal to two x over two x plus one so there is an equal sign can we say that this is a rational equation yes or no okay so let us try to find out meron pa bang ibang variable yes or no Wala na. Therefore, yung variable lang natin is x. And there is an equal sign. Therefore, this is a rational equation. Rational equation. And for number 8, we are given square root of x plus 5 is equal to 2. If this is the given, we could not anymore identify this as rational expression, rational equation, rational inequality, or rational function. Since we are given square root... Or radical. Therefore, this is now none of this. Okay? And for the last two example, for the last two example, for number 9, we are given x plus 5 all over x minus 5 is equal to x squared. Okay? Tingnan mo, may iba, pang, may iba pa bang variable? Wala na. Ano yung sign sa gitna niya? Equal. Therefore, this is Rational equation. And for the last one, we are given 6x minus x over 3 is less than or equal to 2. So in this case, meron pa ba ibang variable? 
may radical ba? Wala. Therefore, this is less than or equal to, we'll be calling this as rational inequality. Okay, and that ends the activity for today. And I will just repeat what we have discussed. We are able to define rational expression, rational equation, rational inequality, and rational function. And we were able to differentiate um, each from one another. Therefore, when we say rational expression, this is just an expression or a ratio of rational of equation. Um, rational expression is just a ratio. So it is a fraction or a, a numerator and the denominator. So ibig sabihin walang equal sign, walang y, walang inequality na ginamit. For the next one, rational equation. Therefore, for rational equation, we are using equal sign. At wala siya dapat kasamang radical. So for the rational inequality, we are using greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. And for the rational function, we are using f of x or y. So I hope you learned something from this video tutorial. So if in case that you have another request, so please do let me know para mapaghandaan natin sa susunod. Hindi kagaya nito na bigla-biglaan yung mga requests nyo. Again, I would like to greet all of the students from ABM 11, Taylor, especially Mr. Emerson Gabongkal and their advisor, Sir Jehan Edward Hernandez. Once again, I am Engineer Jod Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye, God bless, and good night, everyone.